Episode four, food and beverage. I'm PK. I'm Mike. This is a show, a weekly show of us trying new restaurants and hopefully we can convey that information in our reviews and how we interpret the rest restaurant. Yeah, definitely. Get uh, get you guys uh, inspired to try some local or San likes Francisco or hates. cuisine. Or, yeah, yeah, likes and hates. We're kind of completely unbiased and truthful and we'll kind of too in depth sometimes, but that's all right. Get these guys enough information out there to make their own choices and hopefully try some of the things that we try and then also give us some recommendations. Definitely. Um, we definitely need recommendations down here. Yeah, we'll put all that up. Yeah, as always, definitely. we'll put it up or he'll put it up. Um, you want to talk week? about? Yeah, dude, good. Same old, same old. I mean, I got nothing too crazy or yeah. interesting to report now, except that we got a site up for you guys. We got a Finally. YouTube channel up for it's you not, guys. It's still under construction. Right, right. We're working on it, but yeah. you can actually. But it's up. Yeah, visit it and. Uh, you can view all our previous episodes on there. Send us any any information, anything like that. We have all that kind of like set yeah, up. Yeah, definitely. We, it's definitely improving, but hey, at least we got something up. That's we got awesome. the YouTube channel up now. Yep. You can uh, check all that out. You can subscribe at the bottom. Yeah, we'll um, put that up, I mean, maybe now, definitely yeah, at whatever. the end of the episode. But, we'll make sure. Um, it's a long show. <laughs> same kind of thing, if you guys don't know the premise, man, same as Pat said, uh, checking out a couple of local restaurants, and then the beverage side, at least right now, comes in the form of us uh, grabbing a couple of beers and checking out and reviewing a couple of beers for you guys while we're talking about the restaurant. Um, today's two beers also came from our aforementioned uh, city place of love, yeah. City Beer, super close to the house, and uh, they do such a great job spot. and have a million bajillion beers, as Chishi said, beer heaven. Um, if you don't know, Chi-Chi's my girlfriend. Correct, yeah. Not with us today, but maybe next time. Hopefully Definitely. she had some stuff she had to take care of today. Um, but I guess that brings us to the first beer. We'll get to, oh, how's your week? Sorry. Oh, my week, uh, it was definitely fun. I shot a music video this past weekend on Sunday. True. Um, for Seeking Empire. I was one of the com uh, camera ops. Um, probably the biggest production shoot that I've been, like we had four camera guys. We had like three makeup artists. Uh, I mean, obviously the director, the director the dp um it was fun it was an all-day thing it took over 12 hours a lot longer than i expected but um i enjoyed it met a lot of cool people made a lot of new contacts uh for future projects hopefully uh you get to see feel my work in the future um that's about it i mean other than that i gotta edit last episode gotta do a couple other uh freelance works for uh, a couple of clothing brand, uh, clo clothing brands but uh that's my weekend. That's my the rest of my week. Cool, cool. Um, but yeah, let's definitely get into this first beer. I'm excited. All right, so I'm a huge fan of these guys. Um, Brewdog is the brewery. Uh, the beer we're trying is Dogma, Dogma, which I have not had. I have had a few of the Brewdog beers, but Good we movie. saw this and he picked it up and he was like, oh, we should try this. And I was like, heck yeah, man, Brewdog's awesome. Um, so it's their ale that is brewed with honey, uh, cola nut, poppy seed, and Gruurana. Gruurana. Guana. I don't know. Guarana. 7.8% alcohol. And uh, I don't want to read the whole thing, but it's got a whole list on the side here. You guys can check it out. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put pop, that up. Pop right into this. From Scotland, it said? Correct. Which, I don't know. They do all kinds of crazy collaborations with all the different breweries and all kinds of... Brewdog. Yeah. They're, they're awesome. They, for a while, held, like, uh, I believe, like, the most alcoholic beer in the world like they held that like title a for a while and oh wow yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff what was it like 40 percent yeah uh actually i think it was right at something it was called i think it's nuclear penguin i think is what it was called it's crazy these guys are nuts that's really fucking high yeah it's insane that's but, definitely uh, like whiskey or rum or whatever yeah that's intense uh, and, it's, and it's purely just from like oats just to say they, whatever yeah uh i don't know if they added stuff to it I mean, there's all kinds of shady ways to get it that high, but I don't know. I mean, you can't, yeast will die before it gets to that high of an alcohol percentage. So I don't know so how they- So did some tricks. Yeah, I don't know how they did it, but- I like the colors, not as opaque. It's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of, well, opaque means- yeah, See-through, it's right? not as opaque. I thought That's... opaque meant not see-through. Opacity. Yeah, the yeah. opacity is lower, higher. It's higher. I don't know. It's less clear, as you can see. It's definitely, it looks like it's unfiltered, which is cool. Uh, darker reddish, coppery color. Uh, nice I head. see a little orange too. Orange, yeah. Well, and some yellow and orange. If you can see a little light, I don't know. <laughs> it smells awesome. What do you think? Oh, I, wow. Oh, man. It smells delicious. We're going to try and, uh, at least me, I don't want to speak for you, uh, as we review the beers more and more, and I get. I wish I, I didn't have the beer I had earlier, though. 
kind of a groove. Hold on, wait, what? I don't I wanna, know. I wanna adequately describe more. Up until now, it's just been kind of like good or bad. I wanna kind of give you guys maybe a little bit more of a description. Nothing too crazy, but what did you have earlier? The blue, uh, blue paddle. Why? Well, it was a new beer to me. Oh, it's all good. Whatever. That's what it's about. It's good. <laughs> what do you think it tastes like? Oh man. I don't know, no imagery comes up, but it's good. Cause you know, like every time I taste something, like I have like some kind of picture, like I'll probably mention that uh, later today about what we ate. But <laughs> it was weird though. No, it was we'll the weirdest thing. We'll get there, we'll get there. I don't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> but uh, usually mm. like, I don't really taste the certain things in the food or the beverage. Like I just, every time I try something, I just think of like an image. I'm like, I don't know what I think of right now. Well, I definitely smell, I guess it's the honey-ish kind of thing. They put that in there. Um, you get a little bit of sweetness on the nose, definitely. Mm kind of a hoppiness, but not like crazy it's not that bad, yeah. on, the, on the nose. Um, a little bit of kind of like a florally note, but like when you taste it, the bitterness is great. Like the yeah. finish, like after letting it sit for like 30, 40 seconds now, like a good wash of bitterness is coming up. But when you first... Uh, it's like kissing a dog. Whatever that means. Hence when you first... Uh, oh, stupid. Take a sip, you definitely get some kind of like spice in there. Um, Definitely a sweetness. I get like in the mid, I guess, palette, I get definitely like a like toasted caramel. Like really good, like kind of like burnt sugary thing. Taste the burnt um, sugar, I don't taste the caramel at all. That's, yeah, same thing. That's what caramel is, burnt sugar, is it? Dude. Yeah, I know, crazy birds. Um, but really good, I dig it. I don't want to take too long. We're gonna freaking go like an hour and a half for these guys. My eyes are like fucking squinting. It's really good though, but <laughs> definitely I dig it. Um, all right, so I'll start off, I guess, on we where went we went to today. Room. It's uh, this place called Rose Pistola. I believe I'm saying that right in North Beach. North Beach, Columbus uh, Street, between yeah. uh, Stockton and Green, right? Just kind of walked around until we found somewhere. We were we were walking around in North Beach for a little while, just kind of seeing what we could find. It we wasn't got, even on our list. It was just like a random restaurant that we, we were able to find. Got a menu cool, for you guys. Which is they, great. It's normally, it was it was in an insert, so this is kind of yeah. uh, the insert of the menu, but what they do is they actually Print it daily, out daily. Daily, they print out new menus. Um, this kind one of, is obviously today's It's cool, date. but a waste of trees. <laughs> uh, they could, I mean, they could probably recycle it. I mean, I don't know, but you know, we were able to keep up the menu, which is kind of cool, because now we can reference it for you guys, uh, mm -hmm. which, sorry, we didn't have that last time. I like um, the illustrations they have on the menu. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They have like little chickens and fish, fish hanging, and stuff and yeah. Drying out or whatever you want to say that they're doing. Um, the three things that we ate, because we got an appetizer and then we each got an entree. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for lunch. Um, we got the, I believe that's like Douai bruschetta. It's a uh, cured salmon with shaved artichokes Duet? and asparagus and uh, goat cheese and lemon zest. It was goat cheese. Oh, okay, um, okay. That was our appetizer. Uh, then for my entree, I got the black truffle ricotta ravioli with uh, mandarin sauce and thyme. And his entree, he got the <laughs> <laughs> the grilled his... flank steak. Hold on, yeah, that's we'll get there because that's part of the service to me. Yeah. That was really good. Um, he got the grilled flank steak with fried potatoes and lemon butter. And then for our drinks, um, Pat tried a new beer to him, which was the New Belgian Blue Blue Paddle. I don't, I can't find it on here, but you remember yeah, it was yeah, Blue yeah. Paddle. Yeah, oh, okay. it was Pilsner. And I got the Sierra Nevada Summerfest, which I had had before. Mm -hmm. um, that one's good too. I like that. I say to, yeah, I liked it. Uh, to get right into it, uh, I guess we'll both it start with the appetizer. Beer. Yes. Okay. Um, I oh, bruschetta for you guys that don't know is just kind of like a, a toast kind of thing with stuff on top of it. Mm. Typically, I think when I hear bruschetta, at least it's with the tomatoes and basil, and it's really like kind of a simple, really good toasted bread kind of thing. It was but, artichoke. <laughs> right. I know. But okay. Like typical bruschetta. No, no, no. You remember when I was asking, like, what the fuck is this? Like, they they shredded the artichoke. Right. On with the salmon. On the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. It came really nice. We'll throw up a picture for you. It was mm -hmm. four pieces of bread. Um, two of each had the same thing. Um, so for us, it was perfect because we each got to try so, yeah. one of each. Each like one the asparagus on, was on, on, on two, two of them. And, and then, then the two salmon, of them had the and, the, and the artichokes yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, which you'll see in the picture. It'll be a little more clear. But it was perfect because we each got to try one of each. Um, first, I guess, maybe first impressions and stuff. We'll get into that. Um, uh, kind of cool outside. Yeah. They had a few tables. A lot of places in North Beach had tables outside. It was yeah, a yeah, beautiful yeah. day. For Taking that. advantage of the weather. Right, it was awesome. So nice out today. Um, 
but that was cool. Very welcome when we went inside. We were greeted by two hostesses. Yeah, um, yeah. Really cool interior, kind of like, I just like clean to me. Like it was very like, I don't know. Lighthearted, kind of like feel, clean, you know, like. Walking in, like, did it feel like an Italian restaurant? Like the layout didn't see, it seemed like kind of like an American steakhouse, sort of. Like, mm. The colors were too light. It was a lot of yellows and whites, and it was like maybe the way the way was like dark. Well, the way like maybe the bar have been set up. Maybe. I think that. I don't know. Like, I I felt very like it felt European to me. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. I haven't been to many like true Italian restaurants. Like mm -hmm. true, you know what I mean. I've never been to Italy or anything like that. But I just got a sense of like European. Okay. Like I got a sense of like. I don't know. It was comfortable. It was really nice. Um, got seated right away. Uh, we went for lunch as we mentioned. Around got like set down, server came right over, really good about all that, waters, got our drinks, yada, yada, yada. But well, I mean, one gripe, she didn't give us, she didn't introduce herself. I mean, that's one of the things that I always look for. Which I don't remember, I'm really bad at that, so if he says I mean, it, I got I her name, even, yeah. Because I looked at the, our check. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. But uh, she, I think she got distracted, because as we met her, he ordered a beer, and he gave her her license, and then saw that we're, we're both from, from Florida, Florida yeah. and she was, like, from Florida, and, like, talking about all that, so I think... That was a cool conversation, yeah, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was literally, like, in the same uh, yes. county. <laughs> yeah, right next to both of us. Yeah. Like, she, and her son was born, like, in Altamont, which is where I'm from, mm. like, all kinds of stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, but I think that may have sidetracked her. I don't know. She was awesome, though. Like, she was definitely, yeah, she, did a really she was good on job. top of it. Um, but then they the brought over, too. like, a house bread or something? Oh, so it was I like, I, I think was. it was kind of like soaked in olive oil. It seemed oil, like it, yeah. With, with like uh, onions. Caramelized onions on yeah. top. And that was like, that um, was amazing. For like a little like bread they bring to the table. That was legit. I didn't, um, like when I first saw it, it looked like um, bread pudding. It kind of did. Yeah, right? I was yeah. like, what? Like, yeah. <laughs> it was like, I was like, dessert? Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, like technically you're supposed to eat dessert before. Gelato, usually they'll serve you a little thing of gelato to yeah. cleanse your palate. Um, oh, is that the reason? Yeah. But I don't know. That's I've seen in some restaurants. Or they'll do it between courses. I think it's like a digestive system. To like, like it's something for your digestive system. That's what uh, Chishi told me. Huh. But, I mean, it might be a Japanese thing only. I don't know. I'm down for dessert before and after and during a meal. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> I don't really get it that much. but Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not like a huge sweeps person, but like, I do love my desserts. Um, but then we got the appetizer. Uh, that Amazing. was really good. That asparagus was perfectly cooked. cooked. Like the bread was perfectly they, toasted. Sometimes like they're they're you can tell that they're undercooked. They're or just overcooked. Too, like yeah, too yeah. mushy or too crunchy. Like this yeah. was just like perfect. And you could taste a little bit of char on it, and not like in a negative way, but just like a little bit of caramelization. I guess is a more appetizing mm -hmm. term. Um, it was, that was amazing. Awesome. And then the salmon. The, the, the salmon yeah. was so fresh and just salmon or salmon. Salamon. 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 Okay. Salamon. Salmon. Good movie. Not um, really. Um, that. That. I really enjoyed, enjoyed that. it. I, I enjoyed was that. like. And then it had a little bit of arugula on there, which he had never, yeah, I guess, had yeah, before. Yeah, so yeah. it was like a, just a little accent or something. But he really enjoyed that. It was that. mainly. Like, it was kind I, of like a garnish thing, though. I think so. Yeah. But it we, was enough to like <clears throat> put on top of it. But yeah. It, it was, was good. It was really fucking amazing. Like, I mean, it's it's very like thinly sliced salmon. Oh my gosh. And they just yeah. laid it on the. With the goat cheese yeah. and the artichokes, like, that was bomb. That was definitely the most interesting appetizer it looked to me, so yeah. I think we definitely picked that right. Like, mm -hmm. we both were like, oh, let's try an appetizer. Which one do you think? And we both It was pretty pricey, time, though. Like, but, I mean, 10 bucks. 10 or 12? I think it was 10. Oh, yeah, we should uh, go over the prices real quick. The appetizer was 10. Oh, 10, okay. But they, um, they had some ranging, ranging up to, like, 8 to, like, 15, depending right. on what Five bucks for a thing of olives all the way up to to 15. Yeah. Um, my entree was $18 and his was 24. Mm. Just so you guys have a reference. And the beers were like six bucks ish on draft. Um, Which is, that's normal. Really? I, I For mean, being, cause it's kind of upper class. Yeah, yeah. This is lunch, you know what I mean? A $20 lunch. I mean, feels a little high though. At least a fine dining spot. Maybe around $5. They had, some of their bottles were five. Draft is typically less expensive, yeah. but I don't know. Um, but I was definitely but I impressed with that. Bigger glass. Like ounces size, mm, depends. Unless you're at other places, they kind of yeah. do less. But um, I really liked it. I was won over by that point. Um, up to that point, the service and everything had been incredible. Like the buses, the buses were, were like phenomenal. Like they were it? so on top of it. Like, yeah. 
like, I mean, the instant like we finished, it was like our plate was gone and it was like not invasive at all. They mm -hmm. were filling waters and, and it wasn't just us. Like we could see a couple of tables. We sat inside. Yeah, my water. Yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck? We could sit inside <laughs> right by the window so we could see outside. I didn't stuff. realize to the end of the, uh, the meal. Well, he was we were my, <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was when we were finished and I was just pounding water because yeah. I was thirsty. I, was like, I don't usually drink water until like the end of the meal because you're supposed to like eat everything and then drink. Which is funny because I, I drink. Acid. I drink yeah. more water during a meal than you do. It's just funny that I didn't drink any of it. <clears throat> um, but I guess I'll start with my entree. Yeah. Um, that black <clears throat> truffle, uh, what is it called? I'm I know, right there. I'm, I'm like so in. bad at this. It's hard because like, I, I'm so confused when I go to like an Italian or restaurant because like everything is written no, in. No, cheese. Uh, ravioli, that's what I was looking for, ravioli. The black truffle ricotta ravioli was just like, Insane. I mean, the sauce that it was in looked kind of like a butter or like yeah, busted yeah. egg yolk. Like it was like so it rich. Heavily buttered. So rich. Um, and it was, oh man, it was so good. The depth of flavor, it was very nuanced. It was mm -hmm. like kind of undertones, like especially when we get to his in a second, that was like a lot more bold flavors. Yeah. This was more like nuanced flavors, but the amount of flavors were incredible. Like there was just so much going on. Um, I mean, it was artfully prepared. Uh, the pasta was perfectly cooked, like the cheese was amazing. The, the hint of truffle in there was awesome. Wait, I wish there was more truffle, cause like I'm a huge truffle You need to explain fan. what that little bit. I will. Oh, okay. Um, there was uh, some seasoning on the top too, which is really good too. Uh, the only thing like towards when I got to the end, which he, I believe is talking about, is yeah, I yeah. found another, like it was like a piece of spaghetti. Yeah, um, yeah. And the only reason that's kind of a gripe is cause I know how you like, well, I don't know how they cooked it, but in a couple of Italian restaurants I've known at before, or whatever, like how you cook pastas in these little kind of like hold metal containers that you dunk in the pasta water and then bring out or whatever, because you, all you're doing is reheating the pasta most of the time. Um, and sometimes bits of pasta get stuck in that. And then when you jump it on the plate, sometimes that falls out with it. So that may have been what happened. Mm -hmm. um, and normally I'll let that slide because I little, normally don't care. Yeah, it was, it was, it was literally like, like this big. Um, it was like half the size of a ravioli, but it's just like one of those things where, dude, you're paying like this is fine. To me, I would classify that, that in, that was in like 18. upper mid-range, lower fine dining. Yeah, an $18 lunch. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of expensive. Don't get For me wrong. a lunch. Yeah, yeah, it was, it backed it up. It's just one of those things where it's like the presentation aspect. Like, yeah. you know, would Mario Batali let that happen? You know, if he was cooking for you kind of thing, you know? And this is like, supposedly they have quite a few sh like awesome chefs that come in and out of this restaurant all the time and like, take a lot of pride in like, they, is that, they host, oh, this is like, the restaurant that you were talking about. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Supposedly they take a lot of pride in like hosting a lot of really good chefs. So it's just one of those things and everything else is, don't get me wrong, like artfully prepared. It's just one of those little things that we want to convey to you. Like uh -huh. we want to be a hundred percent honest. Um, but that was that. Uh, I, I really enjoyed fine. mine. Oh, I know. Perfect. Yeah, Not even fine. It was, yeah. I mean, perfect. It was but probably, that was just the only thing where I was like, I, ha I mean, I have to say it. Um, what about you? I mean, what did you think of my dish? And then we'll oh. switch over and switch beers and get into your dish. I think it was really, really good. Because um, you had your source yeah, you got into mine. As so. soon as I been to his, like, it's the weirdest imagery, but like, as soon as I been to it, don't don't take me as a weirdo, but like, I felt like I was in... You are such a weirdo. <laughs> was it Sherman Williams? Like, the paint store. It's just like, it, it didn't necessarily taste like um, a paint store. It's just like, the taste kind of brought me memories of being in the paint store, like kind of being around the aroma and the, the fumes of paint. And uh, this is really good. Yeah. And uh, I, some people like it, like some people like the it's smell like of gasoline, you know? Cinnamony too. But I was telling him um, for you, for those of you that are familiar with having truffles, like I truffles have, have a very like distinct flavor. And part mm. of that is kind of a positive yeah. chemically taste, not like. I mean, well, a lot of people won't. Like chemicals, I mean, like, that's just my palate. Like, that's right. what I feel when but I, I taste it. I know exactly it, yeah. what you're talking about. Like, I may have not come right to that yeah. conclusion, but I definitely understand where you're yeah, coming yeah. from. Yeah, yeah. And I think I think that was probably the truffles in there. Mm -hmm. And it was just like a hint of it. And he's like, "Oh, this reminds me of being in like a paint store." And I just laughed. But the like, sauce, yeah, the cool. sauce is definitely amazing. It was like, good. It wasn't egg. <laughs> it wasn't egg yolk. Like, what was no, it? No, no, no. Like, it wasn't. No, I'm just saying it looked. It was very viscous, like yellow, like gold. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, like. <gasps> So I wanna, good. I want some more. I know. I want more of everything. Like that. Uh, I wish the, the portions were a little bigger. You think so? For the price point. You gotta, but you gotta remember it's like a uh, fine dining. Mm. Like a lot of fine dining stuff typically leaves you kind of wanting a little bit more. You know yeah. What I mean? Where like the bargain bin stuff usually will slam you with so much food that you can't eat it. You know. I, I mean, mean I agree with you. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like it was really good. Like. Oh, 
awesome. So like, of course I want more, but it's also like, I understand like, it's and it wasn't really like small full, portions, but it was like, it. Right, right, right. It was, it was like right in the middle. Like it wasn't like under portioned, but it wasn't over portioned. It was like probably right where it should be. It's just mm -hmm. one of those things that are so good that you just want to keep like, keep eating it. It filled me up keep definitely, it. but I wasn't, we're, I mean, we still had conversations like, oh, should we grab something else? Hmm. But we were just confused whether we we're full or we we're just hungry. Well, not like eat another sandwich or anything, but like no, yeah, just a something snack. to nibble on, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we also didn't get dessert, I guess. But here, dude, what are we? Oh wait, all right. Today's language, I know two more, so we'll oh, have yeah. like six okay. total. Hold on. Today's language we is gonna be beforehand. Uh, we're gonna do it right now, and then we're gonna do it at the end. But now you're making f oh Russian Nostrovia. So when we cheers, what is it? Nostrovia. Nis? Nostrovia. Nostrovia. Yeah. Nostrovia. Spit in my beer when you say it next time. All right, you ready? Oh, I can't help squinting. Nostrovia. Why looks so chinky? <laughs> oh, that they're spitting. That's <laughs> good. Mm. Nostrovia. How do All you right. say it's good? Yum. Permission. Yum. You got a lot of dandruff on your hair, dude. It's. It's. Skin. Dirty ass white guy. Dude, that's how I roll. All right, so our second beer is gonna be Ale Smith Extra Pale Ale. Bam, for you guys. I like the label. It's very- I really too, it's awesome. Uh, this is too long of a label for me to read with you guys. Everyone needs X in there, so I get some. Although they do confirm to the Rhine Heights Gebolt, which for you beer nerds means that they only put water, malt, hops, and yeast in their beer. Um, but yeah, this it one is. Where, I don't even see the alcohol content in here. I really like the other one. What was the name of the other beer that uh, they had? I really like that label. Oh, we'll have fuck. to get that next time. But you know which one I was talking about. Right next oh, to this, oh, uh, like three bottles over from this. Anvil. Anvil was oh, the other okay. one that I was interested in trying. Um, this is the first time I've had anything from this brewery. I think me too. I can't remember. But Smith is the name, right? Yes. Where are they based out of? San Diego. Oh wow. Diego. So they're Cali beer. What? Reppin'. Last week we had a uh, an Oakland brewery. This week we got San Diego. Maybe we should just do like one California and one like. You got plenty to choose from. I don't know about California all the time, but at least West Coast. Yeah. Because Portland and those guys have a ton of beers that we could easily drink through. You know what? You can definitely see this is lighter in color. What I. I was don't like about being be in so uh, in California. It's like I can't find anyone that serves Yingling. It's an East Coast thing, son. Hey, Yingling, Yingling is so another beer uh, brewery company in uh, Pennsylvania. It's America's oldest brewery, and it's amazing. And uh, being in college, like in in Florida, we would <laughs> we would drink at every single uh, fucking party we had, huh? For my Yingling. birthday, we didn't we have like a Yingling keg? For my 21st? Dude, we had like four kegs for your party. It was ridiculous. All right, so really nice, like creamy, frothy head. Awesome. Oh, wow. It's definitely lighter in color. Is it ale too, right? Correct. It's a pale ale, extra pale ale. See, um, this is opaque. Super clear. You can see, I can see, see I my hand through it. opaque means not see-through. No, opaque is seen through. I don't think so. I'm in the industry of seeing through clothes. What? That's not an industry, it's a hobby. <laughs> um, why are you doing your hand this way? I have no <laughs> clue. I have no clue. <laughs> like, see, guys, see my hand. Look how opaque it is. Okay, look at this. You, they can't probably not. Like, I don't know. It during smells the lens. awesome. It's got a great hoppiness to it, which you guys know. I'm a huge hop head. This Do I hell smell it? Hates ales, but you like the last one, so that's good. I'm pretty sure that was. It wasn't ale. that. It wasn't that hoppy though. It okay. had a great bitterness finish, but up front, yeah, it was very. Yeah. That was awesome though. I'm I'm really impressed with that dogma, which I told you guys, man. I really like the aroma. Brew dog is wow. The stuff. I like. I think I like the smell of this better. It's a little hoppier, a little more citrusy, kind of like lemony. Like I love citrus, love lemons, love limes. Great definitely, fruit. definitely hoppy. Mm, what else is citrus? Squash, not squash, but like squash scented air fresheners. Whoa. Is it kicking you? Taste it. <clears throat> Whoa. What do you think? Hold on. I definitely get a lot of hops. Not a lot, okay, not, not a lot, like not IPA a lot, but like, it's a pale ale, so I mean, you get a decent amount. Um, 
But I get a good sweetness too, a good sweet balance. It's very the finish like, is really sweet, I think. And then whoo, bitter. I don't know. It's just like it's not heavy in flavor. Like definitely not. Like I don't compared to the last one. Yeah, it has yeah, yeah. way less going on. We should have drank this one first. I was I was expecting the other one to be less complex. Yeah. Which my mistake. I try and do for you guys that are getting into beer or wine or anything like that. You always try and do the less or lightest, less complex to the lightest to obviously the darker, more complex. And I don't yeah. even mean color. I just mean flavor profile. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to do that here by guessing, but it's hard to do if you haven't had it before. Um, but I was expecting the BrewDog to be a little bit lighter due to the ingredients that were in it. But this is a, definitely a little less complex. It's still really good. It's a good It's really good. Beer. Yeah, definitely. I, I really prefer this more. Mm. Really? It's good. I like the, I like the bitterness. Hmm. All right, so let's get into your dish. I'll let you start with your dish and then I'll... Oh, yeah. Well, originally I wanted to order the grill... What was it called? Uh, Brazilino? Grilled... Uh, Branzino filet and Branzino. he was and like oh let's do that da, da, da. and I was like I, thought, I was thinking the same thing I'm like man filet that's awesome like go for it but uh it wasn't when he went to go beef. order it yeah when he went to go order it, I ordered uh my Your dishes dish, and yeah. stuff and then he ordered his and the we were talking about it and the uh, waitress was like oh you know that's a fish right I was like oh and we're both like no thank you for pointing that out so yeah, that's yeah. kind of where I wanted to come back to the whole service thing about how she was really good about like that's something that not a, every server would do every server yeah. should do but you know, a lot of them are gonna be lazy and just be like, boom, and then maybe it comes Maybe this is the way I, uh, I mean, I tried to order it. I'm like, oh. I don't know, but I mean, who knows? But at, at least she was like, by the way, you know this is a fish. Cause like okay. it could come to the table and then be like, oh shit, why didn't you tell me earlier? Yeah. So it was really good for, I, for me at least, mad props to her yeah. for pointing it out and saying like. I mean, if you And she don't didn't know, do it in a way like, oh, you're ignorant. She just did it like, by the way, like, it's really cute. Like, oh, da, da, da. I guess the only like, way to know whether, know whether it's fish, fish or not is if you knew what the middle word was. Bronzino or whatever. Yeah, which I don't knew, even know if that means fish or if it's a type of fish. I've never heard of that before. Yeah. So I don't know. It's an Italian thing. But there's no other, everything else in that description is um, sides. So it's yeah. not like a fish braised and grilled with blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So there's no like descriptor there. Um, which I'm assuming that middle word is something that's just blatantly, obviously fish, and we just. Don't I mean, know that's what the thing means. with like Italian restaurants; they don't ever say that. They would just say they the want name you of the to dish. Know, man. You gotta go. We'll, you gotta, when we go to Italy, and we'll I live there forever, and then we'll freaking learn the language, out. and yeah. I know what the fuck that means. Italy Italiano, Italy Italiano, Italian. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Italy Italiano. Um, but what do you think, man? Came uh, to the table, bam, bam, bam. Like it was one of the first things. All right, I'm gonna interject real quick. Uh, fuck you. I guess she was like the kitchen, maybe expediter or something. I don't know. It was a different lady that. Brought oh us yeah, food. yeah, yeah. Um, awesome little highlight of like, kudos as she put the dishes in the right spot. Boom, knew where mine went. Boom, Asked knew where his any, went. Any, uh, extra seasoning, whatever. Right, which was awesome. I, I love places that do that. It should be standard, but not everybody does that. The only thing that was missing, and the only reason I know this is because we worked at like steakhouses, and I don't expect this from an Italian restaurant, but it's just like one of those little common courtesy things is please like cut into the center of your steak and make sure it was prepared properly. She didn't do that, but, yeah. but we did cut into the center of our steak after she had left and it was prepared better than perfectly. Like it was, we asked for medium, well you asked for medium, medium rare, rare yeah. and it was of course, a as spot always. on medium rare. Like it was perfect, like Gotta beautiful, have to beautiful, beautiful. Um, but go for it, I'm sorry. It was amazing, no. Um, I mean, I've had steaks where they tried to do something fucking extravagant. You know, they want to put fried onions, caramelized onions, like all these random shit onto that. Um, but it was it was really straightforward. You had, it's all about how the meat's prepared or the, the grade of the meat, you know, where it's from. They, pepper, salt and pepper, that's all you need. Well, they we know had, from working at a good yeah. steakhouse, we want to taste the meat. We don't yeah. want to taste A1 sauce. Like you want to taste like. No pun intended. Right. But uh, purely, Pepper and salt. Um, I think there was some was, rosemary yeah. on there. I think. Like, he was like, oh, I taste a little something extra. And, like, when I taste it, I think there may have been a little bit of rosemary, which was. Which like, was great. Yeah, no. It, it was really good. It, it just made it even more awesome than it already was. Um, the meat was perfectly prepared. Um, I mean, the outer rim was. It didn't look too charred, but there were some bits of it that was a little. But once you broke into it, like, it was Tasted super so tender. Good. Like, yeah. it was amazing. And I'm a huge, like, I've never ordered steak out unless it's at, like, Del Frisco's, where yeah. we, we're, we're familiar with. <laughs> there um, we go. That's no, where we work. That's, yeah. Well, you didn't have to say that. But anyways, <laughs> now you know. Um, but, oh, 
my god, that place is amazing. Because I can cook it better at home because I know how to do all the stuff. Yeah, so it's yeah, like one yeah. of those things where it's like I never order a thirty dollars steak because I can buy one for eight bucks. It's never really about like what you throw onto the it's beef. The meat. Yeah, but uh, it's, it's in how you cook it. It's how you cook it. But I mean, I never order it, so it's like mm -hmm. one of those things where it's it takes a lot to kind of impress me. And like, I mean, the first bite I had of that, I was blown away. I was yeah, like, man. Like, it was ridiculously whoa. good. And I always order filet because I'm not a big fan of like the, the juices, fat like like stuff. how it drenched like within the plate. It was amazing. Yeah, we kept like, trying we to had, stop it up. Like, <laughs> like uh, it came with a side of fries, which is, I mean, the restaurant we worked at, it, fries don't come normally. No, like no, it's no, just no, purely no. like you Nothing order the comes. steak. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you order you order the sides separately, and we don't even serve fries. But like but that. But remember, it's lunch. Too. Yeah. Like that was I, I didn't mind fries coming with it. That but like. Cool. Immediately, like, we had the fries, and we are just kind of, like, trying to soak it up into the fucking sauce of uh, the steak, and it was just so amazing. Um, it, was, it was definitely a high rating. Like, it was definitely a high steak for me compared to, like, everything I've had. And I've, I mean, usually when I go out to a restaurant, if they have steak, you know, I've got to order it. It's just like... See, I'm the opposite because I'm always disappointed. So I'm like, I'm not even going to bother. <sighs> like, I'll usually, like, yeah, somebody yeah. I'll go with will order it and I'll try it and be like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't get that. I don't, I don't know. I'm a aficionado for, like, steak. Like, I love, like, having a good I'm steak. I'm a snob. You're an aficionado. Yeah. I'm a snob. <laughs> I'm going to mirror kind of everything he said. I really was... I was super impressed with... Mm -hmm. Everything else, but obviously the steak too. Like when he got that, and uh, I mean, just, just trying that flank steak, like I mean, it was perfectly cooked. It. Like the the what they seasoned it with was beautiful. Like I mean, just everything was awesome. Like the the presentation, like for the presentation, I don't think they're the best compared to like all the other restaurants I've had. But was that beep? I don't know. But uh, like <laughs> horns. But like. When it comes down to but it's lunch. eating, you gotta yeah. remember, it's like it's not, not about it the it's not about like how they present it. It's about like I how you fucking perfect. eat it. You like, know, true Italian food is yeah. simple. Like we get over processed in American cuisine where we think it has to be like this stupid extra. I don't give thing. a shit if it but, tastes like, good. Um, you know, Italian food is simple and like it was awesome. But I mean, like, do you want to get into like overall like what you kind of thought before we wrap everything up? Like, yeah, definitely. What uh, I'll let you you close out your final thoughts and then I'll jump into it. You know, overall, I enjoyed it so much. Um, the only bad things I've had, like, and this is not coming from, like, uh, my opinion on the food. It's just purely, like, the server. She was great, but, like, I, I like it. I love it if uh, a server introduced themselves first because, you know, I'm coming here to eat, you know, and I'm sitting. I, they, they have a hostess. This is not a counter joint, you know. I'm not going up there and just, like, you know, give me a number four, give me a number five, you know, and uh, call me up when uh, when the food's ready. It's just like, it's it's all about the experience. Um, she did a great job, like, but from the beginning, like, I wish she, you know, say, hey, her name was, uh, can I, should I say it? Yeah, her name? I, I wouldn't, I don't oh, know. Okay. I would, she, we'll just leave it, like, yeah. I don't wanna like, I don't wanna call anybody out. I mm. kinda feel bad about that, like, I don't know. But she was great. Now at least. She was great, she was great from uh, that point on, but like, I. I love it when servers come up and you know, hey, my name's my name Jane. Is, yeah, like, my know. name is whatever. Um, uh, how are you guys doing? Do you have any questions about the menu? She did that part. You know, if you if you want to start off with any uh, beverages, you know, let me know. Uh, but from their point on, like it was just, it was golden. Like I loved it from when she didn't introduce herself, but like from there on, it was just amazing. Uh, they even said, the hostesses even said bye to us on our way out. It's one of those things yeah. I want to mention. It might not matter to you, but it's just one of those things, little things, little touches. It's all Both about them, the, hey yeah. guys, thanks for coming in. We'll see you next time or whatever. I was like, Pfft. awesome. Um, and we looked unassuming. I mean, we weren't like coming in in shirt and ties. Uh, and, yeah, you know like it mean? looked like. like um, a lot of the other people were, there were business people. Yeah, so definitely. it's cool that we got, I felt like we got treated equally. Which definitely. some places like being, you know, looking young and being a kid and like being in a city Kinda where like, you have oh, you don't that have any worth, money, like, man. million dollars. Yeah. You know, it's like. Uh, these kids, you know, they treated you. They treated you like how With respect, everyone. Very well. yeah. yeah. So what do you think? What's your, uh, what's your overall was, rating, dude? It was oh, a great. I think this probably, it's probably like one of the best ones. So far, I would say so. So far, definitely. Um, All four we've been to. Yeah, last seriously. Last episode not included. <laughs> seriously, um, I would say in my overall rating including the service. This is probably like the first one that we would include the service. I mean, we had one before, but... Last episode. Yeah. Uh, this one, 
Uh, and we rate overall, guys. It's not just food or price. I mean, yeah. it's everything for you guys. So it's uh, taking it that into account. It's not only the food. It's the whole experience. I would definitely say maybe over a four, probably like... <laughs> Fuck. Uh, maybe like a 4.5. And we're, we've said this a lot, we're super harsh. Like five is almost unobtainable. So it's like one of those things where like in the fours is like awesome. Threes is a very solid, like if you have anywhere in the threes to me, it's like, I would definitely go back. I would yeah, definitely yeah. recommend it. Like four is excellent. Five I'll is go back like every week. perfect. <laughs> yeah, right. So you know what I mean? Like, so f that's awesome. That's, uh, yeah. I mean, um, for the food, uh, it was amazing. I think we chose the right appetizer, the right entrees. And, uh, and it definitely raised my scoring. I would definitely go back yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want to try it. It's probably a wholly different menu. menu. I mean, tomorrow we go back and probably be a different menu. Um, I'm going to get into my review real quick. I'll make it fast. Uh, I, I'm going to mirror a lot of what you said, except like, I think there's a time and a place for the server thing. Like, I think she did a great job for what we went to. Like, yeah. I think if we were going to an upper echelon, like super fine dining place, like a Ruth's Chris or something yeah. like that, she I gave expect a lot, a lot of, um, more like menu relation to so, us. Right, definitely. So I think she did her job perfectly. Yeah. Um, I really, I really appreciate it. I don't remember if she gave her name or not, but he said he remembers. So like, I check. definitely don't think so. Um, but that's okay. I mean, whatever. She, she got caught off guard, and we were talking about family and stuff like that. Yeah. So that was really cool. Um, we got greeted on the way in and the way out. The busters were awesome. Service was top notch to me for being a lunch spot. I was blown away. Definitely. Appetizer, blown away. My entree, blown away. His entree, killed Amazing. it. Like. <sighs> Man, I, I'm gonna kind of maybe a little bit lower than you, only yeah. because I'm a little, I guess, harsher or whatever in this instance, but I'm definitely in the fours, man. I'm yeah. thinking like 4.3. I mean, these guys, mm -hmm. I would have no reservations about recommending it and telling you to go there, especially on like a date yeah. night or something. I mean, when we sat down, the first thing she's you said so was nice. like, I need she's to bring Shishi like, back. Oh, can we like, have like a menu? And she's like, oh, take yeah, the one that- Yeah, boom, pulled it out and said, here you go. Like, like I mean, it was just like- She, she didn't- they will probably have like a to go. Uh, they probably don't do to go. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. But think like so, some, but some. But uh, there was no hesitation. Sometimes yeah. they're like, oh, let me go ask my manager. Yeah, and she's yeah, just yeah. like, Psh, like, like take this, yeah. take this right here. So I'm I mean, like, wow. I, I, I loved it. I would she's definitely, chill. I will definitely be back. Like, I would definitely bring a date there. I would Can definitely. You guys see the cord? <laughs> stupid. Now it's probably unplugged and you can't hear yourself. Um, but I loved it. Uh, it was amazing. But yeah, you guys should definitely check it out. It's something that- This is a great choice, thank you. Yeah, it's something that, well, we both kind of picked it. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that- We I walked think around we North Beach for like, for like an 60 hour blocks. At least. Yeah, like, we like, went around the same block like six times and we were like, oh, we've walked by this like eight times. We should have probably just gone in the first time. Yeah. Um, but it's all for you guys, man. We're just trying to find some spots to where we can really hammer home and be like, if you're visiting, check this out if you like Italian food. If you live here, check this out if you like Italian food. Yes. Um, sit inside, sit outside, doesn't matter. It's, 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 it's definitely a restaurant that you have to seek out. It's not like, oh, if you're in the neighborhood, you have to try it out. You, you need to go there directly and try out um, the food they have. In I would say even best based on what we have, like anything on the menu. Like yeah. I would say definitely try what we had so you can kind of match what we tried yeah. to what you enjoy to kind of see, mm -hmm. so you can line up your palette with our palette or whatever. But like, I would I would feel comfortable recommending the menu, even mm -hmm. only having those three items. But uh, I, I mean, definitely want to go back and try everything. Like there's some <laughs> everything. <rest> yeah, <laughs> I would so try much. everything. All the wines. Oh my all, like, gosh. <laughs> of the wines. Seriously. And the dessert menu stuff looks good, but all right. So like. I mean, I guess that's oh, it for cheeses. Oh yeah, they had a cheese thing on the dessert menu. Anyways, you guys can look all that up on their website. But mm -hmm. for today's episode, I guess Might that's kind of the same menu. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every daily dessert menu, I don't think changed daily. But uh, for today, I think that's about it. We're kind of like wrapped up. We both loved it. You guys should go try it and love it yourselves, the and best, let us know the in the comments so what you guys think. I think so. Yeah. Right now, it's the the contender for the top, which we'll have to make a little board or something and see Seriously. if we can knock that off. Um, but for Italian, at least. I'm your host, Mike. This is. BK. And uh, until next week, man, go try something new and let us know what you tried in go the comments. Go to Rose. <laughs> yeah, Rose, Rose Pistola. <laughs> or, yeah, yep, Rose Pistola. And by the way, hey, do us a favor, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Right here at the bottom. And also check out our website, man. It's, yeah, uh, definitely. Like we were saying, still kind of a work in progress, but you know what? It's up, it's up. Yeah. It's, Under construction, it's but ready it's, to roll. it's still up. Um, recommendations, make sure. Right, send us any of your recommendations or we're always looking for spots to shoot. So if you guys know anybody no that owns a place mail. that can let us, yeah, none of that, <laughs> none of that mess. But uh, anybody that can let us shoot, boom, send us there. 
But uh, for today, dude, let's uh, let's end with the Russian. Uh, Cheers. I don't remember that shit. Nistrovia, man. Bam. Nistrovia. All right, guys. We love you. We'll see you next time. Ah.